Am I right in saying that uh, you're working on a new album to be released next year? Yeah, yeah, we're almost done writing okay. it. We're going to okay. record it this winter. Uh, we're hoping to have the first single on the radio by January. And we hope to have the record in everyone's hands across the world by hopefully April. Okay. Uh, and that'll be followed by a, a world tour. And we're going to come back. And I know we'll hit Europe at least a couple of times in the States and Japan and Australia and everywhere else we have to go. V very quickly, what have you noticed about the new songs? I noticed that they have a lot more of a commercial aspect to them. So far, there's some stuff in there that definitely will service the core fan base of Godsmack. But we also felt that um, it's time to expand a little bit. You know, we could continue to write the same record, but we're going to have the same results. And the way I see it is we're taking the first 20 years and we're, we're logging that into our catalog. That was one chapter of our career, and that's the more nostalgic, vintage Godsmack. And from this point forward, we're going to try to reinvent a little bit more of our sound, our look, our stage show, and come out with a brand new Godsmack. Um, because we've realized that since we came out 20 years ago, there's uh, a whole new generation that's grown up that are now just starting to discover Godsmack. And we want to be smart about this, and we also want to um, try to expand our fan base without alienating the core audience. So it's a little challenging. We may lose some along the way, but hopefully we lose one and we gain 20, and you can do the math at the end.